Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog from the ship about the seaman life. Today I want to give you some useful tips, what you should have and what you should not have in your luggage. Maybe you are coming on board for the first time, you are a rating or a cadet, deck or engine, it doesn't matter. These are some useful tips so you don't take useless things in your luggage. And if you have nothing to do with the seaman life, I hope that it will be interesting for you just to see what we are carrying with us on board and you can take this as an advice for your future traveling around the world. So number one on your list of priorities before joining the ship should be this. Keep in mind that the ship is not going in the same place all the time. One time you can be in India where there are 40, 42 degrees Celsius and after two weeks the ship may be in New Dalian in China and it will be plus 10 degrees Celsius. So my point is this, make sure you have in your luggage some summer clothes like a t-shirt or a tank top but also have some comfortable socks, some winter clothing in your luggage because the ship is going all over the world so you will see all the climates possible. It will be winter, next month it will be summer, then it will be winter again. Especially if you are working on the deck part of the crew, you will have a lot of climate change. So make sure you have this in your luggage. All types of clothing. Number two on your list should be some comfortable shoes. If you are a deck cadet and you are coming on board for the first time, if you are lucky enough to work with a serious company who is respecting its crew, then you will not only be on deck chipping and painting, they will also take you on the bridge to assist on the pilotage. So if you are going uh, in the Suez Channel or if you are going on the Amazon River in Brazil, the pilotage can be 8 to 12 hours and you need to have some comfortable shoes. Be careful that you are not allowed with slippers on bridge during the pilotage. Most likely the captain will uh, remove you from the bridge and uh, you need to have this type of shoes. Safety shoes are also okay, but better to have some comfortable shoes. Some sneakers, what they call them. Another thing to have in your luggage is an universal travel adapter for the outlet. Around the world, not all the outlets, the power outlets, are the same as in your country. And if you become a seaman and you are serious about this job, you will travel all around the world. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit in the hotel or in an airport and it is better to have an universal power outlet adapter. If you do not find it on your local electrical store, just search on the internet. I am sure that wherever you are in the world, you will find a cheap option for you. One more thing to have in your luggage, some medicine. Yes, they have medicine on board and the second officer is responsible with the medicine on board, but they do not always have exactly what you need. Or maybe sometimes you are unlucky and you are in the middle of the ocean and they do not have what you need or it's expired or something like that. So just make sure that you have in your luggage normal medicine like uh, some seasick pills, some pills for your headaches, some uh, tummy pain, anything like that, laxatives or whatever you need. And uh, I'm not talking about antibiotics or anything like that, nothing strong, just normal medicine. Have a few of them in your luggage and hey, maybe you will not need them and before you sign off you can give them to another crew member and that way you can help another human being. So that is my tip for you, just to be precautious. Let's talk about things that you should not have in your luggage. Even though seafarers are allowed 40 kilos in their luggage, no need to take things that you do not actually need on board. One of the things that you do not need on board is stationery. Pens, pencils, papers, anything like that. You do not need those. You will receive them for free on board the ship. 
so don't worry about that. Another thing that you should not carry in your luggage, from my point of view, books. Technical books. If you are in engine room, you will have all the ship's manuals in the engine control room or in a PDF format inside the computer of the ECR. And if you are on the deck part, like a deck cadet, you will have all your manuals for navigation, your solace regulation, everything like that will be on the bridge. But if you want to have some manuals with you, I recommend that you put them on a PDF, on an external hard drive or on your phone. Just not to have too much luggage with you for nothing. Let's continue with a useful advice when you will be coming on board especially if you are coming for the first time but this will be available for any crew member no matter how many years of experience they have so when you will be on board on the ship they will do a safety round check they will show you all the safety of the ship they will show you how to use a life vest how to start the lifeboat how to start the emergency generator where are the fire sensors located and fire extinguishers and things like that. So if you are coming on board for the first time, pay attention to this. Pay attention because this is about your life and the life of your colleagues. And if you don't understand something, just ask. Ask then. Don't wait a few days. Maybe you will forget your question. Just ask. Everybody will be helpful and they will explain to you. There is no shame in not knowing. There is more shame in being on board for six months and not knowing how to use a fire extinguisher. That is a pity. So please, just ask questions if you don't understand something. So maybe when you are coming on board, they have cargo operation and they are very, very busy. So maybe they will not do it during that day. But trust me when I tell you, the next day or at latest the next next day they will do the safety rounds so pay attention to this another thing that you should have on your mind whenever you are on board safety first always take care of your safety don't ever forget that you are in the middle of the ocean and even with a helicopter they cannot reach you in a few days so pay attention what you are doing always be aware of your environment if you are working on deck there are strong winds storms the ship will be rolling so do not go on deck on slippers especially during the night time you will fall in the ocean and nobody will know about you ever again and if you work in engine room always wear a helmet and be very aware where you put your foot where do you step in engine room Sometimes there are oil slips and you can break your foot very easily. Another thing that you should be aware when you are on board, always pay attention to your environment. If you don't understand something, ask questions whenever they are doing some safety rounds or the safety routine on Saturday or depending on the place that you are working, if you are part of the deck or you are part of the engine, Always ask an officer if you do not understand something, why he is doing that. And they will happily explain to you because we all started as a cadet. Nobody is here and uh, knows everything. We all start from somewhere. So better ask questions so you will know exactly what to do and how to react when that problem will occur and uh, it will be on your own. You will be by yourself nobody to assist you. Another useful advice that I have for you when you will come on board is this. Always keep your opinions for yourself and never talk about religion and politics when you are on board. Because on board crew members are from different nationalities, from different countries and there will always be an argument regarding politics and religion. So always keep your opinion for yourself. It is better to have friends than enemies when you are alone in the middle of the ocean with strangers. 
whenever you are coming on board if it's either your first time or you have been already for many years at sea always give 100 percent do the best you can you can have a good life on board if you are professional you will make a lot of money especially if you compare yourself to the people who work ashore the seaman salary are very big everybody knows this and this is why we are coming to the sea actually for the money if you are serious about your seaman career you will never need to make a bank loan you will have a good life you can buy a house a car and whatever you desire with the seaman salary but you have to be good in your profession if you are not good they will send you home nobody is giving you money for free another thing to have in your mind if you become a seaman and you are serious about keeping this job for many years to come always relax when you are at home spend quality time with your family your friends and relax feel good enjoy your money because life on board is very difficult especially in the last years there are more inspections more paperwork less spare parts and we have to do our best to keep the ship afloat so when we are there it's actually like a prison like many of us have felt in the last two and a half years during the pandemic we were not allowed to go outside for shore leave in the ports to enjoy ourselves so on board it was like a prison for the last two and a half years like i was saying so keep that in mind when you are home do the best you can and enjoy your money with your family your friends and have a good time so you can come on board and make more money from your next contract we are almost at the end of my recommendations another thing that you should have in mind when you are on board plan your next move do you plan to be promoted do you plan to become better in your job so make sure that you plan ahead while on board and make the preparations make the necessary training and whenever you are coming on board exactly when you are coming on board you have finished the voyage do your training then and after that you can enjoy your vacation i always have a problem doing some training in the middle of my vacation how can you enjoy that there is a saying if you fail to plan you plan to fail so be prepared huh? and last but not least one of the most important things when you sign off check all your paperwork check your seaman book that you have all the necessary stamps check your sea service check all your other seaman books if you have Marshall Island or Liberia or Panama seaman book check all of them that they have all the necessary stamps and your medical take it back with you and your uh, contract take it back with you and never forget to sign your last pay slip for the last month which you have been working on board if you are on a serious company they will give you this form you will sign it and after maybe 10 days two weeks at most when you are already at home you will receive the last of your salary but always be sure that you check your paperwork before you actually leave the vessel so you can avoid this way unnecessary headache if you go home and you realize that you have forgot your seaman book on board maybe the ship will go to china maybe the ship will go to australia and uh, by the time you receive your seaman book if you receive it if it doesn't get lost in the mail you will have a lot of headaches and unnecessary problems so always pay attention and these are my advices for you if you are coming on board especially if you are coming for the first time but these advices are for anybody who has been already on board for a few years i hope it was helpful if you like it hit that like button and if you want to see what i'm posting in the future don't forget to subscribe to the channel i will keep posting interesting stuff from the ship about the seaman life thank you very much for your attention and have a wonderful day goodbye